keeps going. Graham Hansen fires it across. Back heel from Bonmati and a lovely goal. Paro into Paraguelo. Brilliant goal. Goes for power there. Oh, and precision too. Sweet as you like. From one of the world's best. And this is an absolute belter from Pateas. Look at that. She didn't even move. Well, to put it into context, Barcelona won their seventh league title this season. Six matches to spare, so they're not a team that are used to losing. Well, they haven't lost in the league at all. Graham Hansen with the ball in, and there's the opportunity, and it's taken straight away. It's the captain, Alexia Puteas. Lost the ball there, but yes, it comes out wide. It's another terrific ball in from Hansen, and it's a superb finish from Pateas. And those sort of simple goals, passing into an area where they know a player's going to be, and a player that can finish like that is what Barcelona are all about. And they needed that before half time. Our lovely ball in now. Here's the captain, Alexia Puteas, to make it four. Barcelona and of course Alexia Puteas had to get involved too whether it's full back or it's centre midfielder but look how open they are they're trying to play offside there Hendrik absolutely no chance and Puteas will quite happily hold a run in terms of defending you cannot defend against anybody in the Champions League like that Wolfsburg never mind Barcelona on its way now Pina twist and turn and back heel from Bonmati and a lovely goal at the start of this second half from Rolfo Aitana Bonmati with the back heel Rolfo with the strike into the roof of the net Aitana Bormati, who didn't go for the shot herself, just a clever back heel to find the run of Rolfo. And I'm not sure if Mukasa could do a great deal about that real power. Will it be also in a final in Eindhoven, perhaps? Arahuela took a goal effortlessly. Towards Oshuala and Rockford's there! Well, their hero in the Classico of the weekend brings the cap now to its feet. And Barcelona have broken through early. Fridolina Rolfa. Leon's ball in, Linari's header only falling to Rofa, who absolutely made sure. As crisp a strike, you will see. And if there were to be any nerves coming into this. Ball into space for Caldente, but she couldn't get a strike away. Rebounded away, Caldente's there again. Chance! Rolfa for Barcelona. Fires him into the lead in the Women's Champions League final. And Barcelona have turned it around. Wolfsburg couldn't clear it away. And Rolfa took advantage. Again, and the play went.
went on and they just couldn't. The catalogue of errors, just kicking the ball at each other. Thought that the chance had gone from Caldente, but Rolfo make absolutely no mistake. And Wolfsburg again. And that was mistakes of their own making. A terrific finish from Rolfo, though. Well, Barcelona have turned it around. Three goals in the second half to take the lead. Here's Bronze. Finds Gihara. Out across to Graham Hansen, who tries to weave away past Rao. Keeps going. Graham Hansen fires it across. Oh! They've got one back. And it's Patrick Gihara who got it. The celebrations can begin for Barcelona, who found a way back into this game. It's exactly the start they needed in the second half. This is the first one. What a finish that is. And now Barcelona on the other end. Bomati going at it, looking for Graham Hansen! And Barcelona have the breakthrough! And it's Caroline Graham Hansen again! 1-0 up on the night, 2-0 up in the tie. The situation, you knew exactly what she was going to do. Look at that touch. What a fantastic touch that is from Mariana Caldante to Bon Matti. Something so simple, but one touch, you know. And here, it's a great finish. Great finish. You can see Jess Carter also on the line, looking like she was potentially going to get a touch on it. But in the end, you know, I feel, I feel for the Chelsea defenders because they're having to defend a lot in these two games. But it's a great finish in the end through Anna Treenberger's legs and 2-0. Both the goals and both the legs coming from Caroline Graham Hansen. Here's Bronze. Finds Gihara. Out across to Graham Hansen, who tries to weave away past Rao. Keeps going. Graham Hansen fires it across. Oh! They've got one back. And it's Patrick Gihara who got it. The celebrations can begin for Barcelona, who found a way back into this game. It's exactly the start they needed. In the second half, Walsh onto Bonmati. Barcelona coming forward again. Gihara again! Ruthless from Barcelona! They've got the equaliser, it's Patrick Gihara. Didn't get the ball in good areas and then attack it. So both goals have come from that right-hand side. That's good play. And what it is about Giharo is that she arrives late into the box and nobody is tracking her. For both goals, she arrives late. And both touches, first time, second one ahead, the first one a shot. And she just did enough. A little bit lucky, it comes off her shoulder, but it's all about being positive for Barcelona. It says it's not just about winning, but putting on a show as well. Playing for Barcelona. Players have certainly done that and in the mood here for more as Bomati played across. Oshwala gets a goal. It's not taken them long to get going in this second half. And Barcelona now have four. And Greggi just couldn't keep up with Bomati. On well, the plates for Oshwala. To tap home. Corner again for Barcelona. Leon with the delivery. It's a deep one too, and it was a decent header. Perfect the time jump. Look at that. Meets the ball at the highest possible point but she just did not get the direction correctly that's a really well worked set piece in the end and goalkeeper just watch bronze Rolfe bronze again plays it through to Parry Uelo. great save by France good run by Lucy Bronze that's what you need to see from her it's because of how Mielda 
for Sam Kerr and Guru Wrighton could be through here. It's Guru Wrighton to try and finish and Lucy Bronze got in the way to deny. I think if it had been a left foot, it would have been in the back of the net. Timmy scored 159 goals, just 11 conceded. Bronze, Harriwelo and Aitana Botmati. And Malagros showing just why she is one of the best goalkeepers around. Aitana Botmati, one of the uh, leading scorers in the Champions League this season. Has been foiled by Malagros here in some style. To answer the four goals. The referee letting everything go. Play even the players stopped at one point then. Giharo into Paraguelo. Brilliant goal. The young 19 year old finds the breakthrough for Barcelona. The chances were coming. For the visitors, and it's Salma Parayuelo. Thought that she was fouled, but a brilliant ball. What a take that is, Parayuelo, and that finish, unbelievable. First touch was brilliant. Second touch, even better. Unbelievable finish, and just the weight of Barcelona and their attacks finally gets through. Uh, Rabano. Coming on, Cordina and uh, Patry. And, uh, well, that corner, straight after those changes, have led to goal number six for Barcelona. With her second in the group stages. A corner that was lifted in to be headed home by Paredes.